We've implemented two GET requests, GET APIs, in the last couple of videos. So let's move on to the post. We want to create new topics. And the way to do this is by making a POST request to the slash topics URL. Now, how do we do that? I'm going to create this new method in this game controller. I'm going to call this public. Uh, let me make this wide for now. Let's say add topic. Now, let's say I add the logic here to add a new topic to that list. And now I want to map this to when there's a request to slash topics, and that happens to be a post request. Now, how do I do that? I can use the same request mapping annotation. And uh, the URL here is again slash topics. But here's what I want different. I don't want it to go to slash topics for a get request. This is already doing that. When there's a get request to slash topics, this is a method that gets called because get is the default. But now I want the post to map to this, not a get. So in order to do this, I need to specify the method itself. If I don't specify the method, it's gonna do a get, which is not what I want. So I need to specify the method over here. So in order to specify a method, if you look at the properties of this annotation, you see there is this thing called method. And I can use that to specify what the method should be. So in order to specify a value, I can use an enumeration here, which is called the request method. This comes with Spring Framework. It's from the package that you just saw. And uh, here, this has a bunch of values. So you see here, there's a get, delete, options, patch, post, what we are interested in the post. So I'm gonna choose that. And now I have configured this request mapping to happen when the request method is a post. But if you notice here, I don't have the value anymore, the URL value that's obvious over here. I don't have that here. Now, since I am having a custom property, I need to add the value property as well, which is again, another property here, which takes in a string, which is slash topics. So what this line is saying is, map this method to any request that's a post on slash topics, okay? When the post request happens to this URL, this method is gonna get executed. This line is saying map any request which is a get on slash topics. I don't have a get here because it's the default, but I can also have the same structure as you see over here. I can say method equals request method dot get value equals slash topics and the same thing over here. This is an expanded way. It's kind of like a shortcut for a get request. All right, now I'm gonna have a post request made to slash topics. And I said that the post body should contain the object itself that's being sent, the new topic that's being sent. Now, just by adding this annotation, this method is gonna get called when there is a post request. But now what I need in this method is to get that post body, convert it into a topic instance, and then add that to the list in the topic service. Now, how do I do that? Well, think about what you did in this method. You passed an argument that you really wanted from the request. And then you had an annotation which told Spring MVC what part of the request payload you need to pick in order to pass to this. Because Spring MVC is going to execute this. It needs to know what it's passing to this method argument in order to execute it. And you have given it a pointer. It say, okay, pick that thing from the request object and pass it to me. Well, is there a way you can say, hey, Spring MVC, get the request body and pass it to me as a topic instance? Well, it turns out there is a way you can do that. Let's assume Spring MVC is smart enough to get the topic object from the request payload and convert it into a topic instance. All you need to do is tell Spring MVC, hey, pick this instance from the request body. Well, there's an annotation for that, which is at request body with the Spring Framework web bind annotation. So what this does is tell Spring MVC that your request payload is gonna contain a JSON representation of this topic instance. And you're asking it to take that request body and convert it into a topic instance and pass it to the add topic when this URL is mapped anyway. So you're gonna get an instance of the topic that's all ready for you to add to the list, which is super handy.
All right, now what I'm going to do is create probably a method on the topic service which adds a topic instance, right? So I'm going to say topic service dot add topic and I'm going to pass in the topic that I get from the payload. Now this method obviously doesn't exist, so I'm going to create a method on the service and what this is going to do is topics dot add off topic and now we are done now I can make a post request to slash topics and I pass in the topic object and it's going to create a new topic for me let's test that out now since this is a post request I need something that I can use to make rest API calls I don't want to use the browser uh, for making these calls we did use a browser and just type the URL in the URL bar because it was a simple get request but for post, you need to be able to edit the post body. What I recommend is this tool called Postman. This is a Chrome plugin, which lets you make REST API calls and modify each and every aspect of your REST API call. There are similar plugins in other browsers, but this is what I'm gonna be using. You can go to the Chrome App Store, search for the Postman plugin and install it, and you're gonna get this UI. Now, in order to make a request, I'm gonna access the topics request, I'm going to make a get request to slash topics and uh, I'm going to get back the whole payload and this is nicely formatted as well which is handy. Now I can access one topic by passing in that parameter in the path that we get spring or java you're going to get those values. Now what I want to do is make a post request so let me go ahead and restart the server and uh, make a post request to slash topics. And uh, I'm change the method by changing this value over here. And in the body, I'm gonna create a new payload. I'm gonna have a raw payload. Okay, so it's a simple topic object payload. I'm going to send that in the body. Now, before I submit this post request, what I also need to do is go to the headers section and set a header called content type. Now, content type is a standard HTTP header which lets the API know that what you're sending is a JSON object because there's no way for it to know. When you send the body, it goes as a string, right? It's the payload in the HTTP request. Now, you need to somehow tell the API that this is JSON and not XML or text plane or whatever. So you have to set this header called content type whenever you're sending these uh, request objects in the body of your request. So here it's going to be application slash JSON. So again, this is a standard value for the content type in order to tell Spring MVC that what you're sending is a JSON string and it takes that and converts it into a topic object. If I hit send, here you see an error. So let's see what's going on. Abstract list add. Okay, so I have missed something. Uh, I'm actually adding a topic object to arrays dot as list, which is not mutable. So I need to create a copy. So when you do a when you get a list from arrays dot as list, you end up with an immutable array. So what I'm going to do is new array list of this so that I have a mutable array list. If I just did an arrays dot as list, I cannot add anything or remove anything from it. So I'm creating a mutable list from this. So let me go ahead and restart the server. And try this again. So I'm going to make the same post request. Now here I do not get anything back in the response, but if I were to make a get request to slash topics, now here you can see that there is a fourth topic that was added. So this is how you make a post request. You map it to the at request mapping with the post as the method and then the URL and you can add, you can send that object that Spring MVC prepares from the request body. So what we did was pass that JSON as a request body and uh, Spring MVC was smart enough to convert it to an actual instance 
and pass it to the business service. The problem that I did end up with, I'll just quickly cover that, though it's not really related to Spring MEC, is that I created my list, my hard-coded list of topics by using arrays.as list. And this arrays.as list method creates a non-mutable array, an immutable array, an immutable list, sorry. I cannot add things to the list or remove things from the list. So in order to be able to edit the list, I just passed it to a new array list constructor so that I get a copy of that list, but this one is mutable so I can push things to it. 